हेलो एवरीवन आई उर्मी अरोड़ा स्टूडेंट ऑफ नेताजी सुभाष इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एम परसुइंग अ मार्केटिंग इंटर्नशिप अंडर प्रोफेसर समीर माथुर फ्रॉम आई एम लखनऊ हियर लेट अस लुक एट अ डिटेल्ड एनालिसिस ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस मशीन कोऑपरेशन गिनी रोमिटी द करंट सीईओ एंड प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ आईबीएम बिलीव्स दैट रिफॉर्मिंग एंड रीइन्वेंटिंग योरसेल्फ according to the changing market trends is the key mantra to success even if it demands you to step out of your comfort zone IBM is a multinational corporation that manufactures and markets computer hardware and software and offers infrastructure and consulting services in areas ranging from mainframe computers to nanotechnology some inventions of IBM are the ATM the floppy disk and the most recent watson artificial intelligence to understand the future it is first important to know about ibm's past ibm dates back to the 1880s but flourished in the early 20th century with the sales of tabulating machines and war related technologies from the 1950s to 1980 it worked to build the sage computer system and launched systems 360 and by the end it was approximately producing 70% of all computers beating its competitors but things took a roundabout and ibm's market shares eroded when it outsourced its components to companies like microsoft and split into smaller business units then in the late 90s a new ceo louis gertzner refocused the company in a strategic direction and launched the iconic thinkpad presently ibm is the largest and most profitable it company in the world with over 103 billion dollars in sales and 388000 employees worldwide fortune ranked it as the number 1 company for leaders and number 5 as the most admired company in 2012 ibm holds the record for maximum patents generated by a business for 22 consecutive years the graph here clearly demonstrates its dominance few companies have had such a long history of ups and downs as ibm it is interesting to know what were some of the keys to its recent success firstly ibm reconnected its business units standardized procedures and created a consistent universal message for all its key centers and thus made business genuinely global in the wake of the dot com burst the company divested low growth product lines by selling its thinkpad division to lenovo they grew their services and software businesses like data analytics and consulting through a large number of acquisitions with changing market trends IBM recognized the growth of the internet and helped clients harness it for their businesses with their e-business initiatives. They have always paved way for innovations in computations and have not merely survived but thrived. IBM plans to solve some of the world's most challenging problems. Can it really succeed in these? Let's have a look. IBM is presently looking at huge problems like traffic congestion water management healthcare problems that couldn't be solved before it aims at providing high tech solutions for such problems and thus creating a smarter planet it aims to do so by taking steps like reducing pollution making grids more efficient and providing collaborative healthcare solutions the initiative seeks to achieve economic growth and efficiency sustainable development and societal progress it has a very strong research and development sector and has spent over 50 billion dollars on it and approximately 1/3 of its annual budget is devoted towards long term research and providing sustainable solutions thus it seems likely for ibm to succeed but the journey will definitely not be smooth as ibm has a lot of competitors 
who are trying hard to increase their market share. They also face some risks with their current strategy. Major competitors of IBM include Accenture, which is a multinational management consulting services company, HP, which is an American multinational IT company, Infosys Limited, which is an Indian MNC that provides business consulting and IT services, and Computer Science Cooperation that also provides IT services. The current strategy will cannibalize its three mainstays, data center services, computer hardware, and software, which will lead to great resistance internally and externally. Also, the R&D should be proactive and anticipate future problems and thus build sustainable solutions. At the same time, it is important for IBM to remain ahead of its competitors. Let us now recapitulate what we learned about IBM. We first looked at the company background and traced its developments from the beginning till the present day. Then, we understood the key factors involved in its success and its current plans. We also learned about IBM's biggest competitors and major risks of its current strategy. Thank you for watching.